What's up everybody, Jeff here with Encore Brands. Today, I'm gonna to show you the one simple test that you should do if you have bare concrete before purchasing any type of coatings, including ours. You're gonna need some plastic sheeting, some duct tape, maybe some scissors. This is a real ASTM test method to see if you have any moisture issues or what we call hydrostatic pressure coming from the soil up through your concrete slab, which can provoke coatings into blistering or bubbling. So it can save you a lot of headache it's a no-brainer test, super simple to do. Stay tuned. All right, so again, you're gonna need some plastic sheeting. I got this from Sherwin-Williams, which is nice to have uh, because you can use it on other parts of the job and, and you can see that in action um, in my how-to video. I'm gonna try to keep this video to five minutes since all my other videos are like 55 minutes. So uh, the real ASTM test method for this test, I think it's like, uh, I forget the number, um, but they take an 18 by 18 sheet of plastic and they tape it down. Um, you're not gonna need this much. See, I'm gonna cut this a little bit, but you're gonna tape this down securely to the concrete. And what would be ideal is if you could find a spot, perhaps by a drain that could be clogged or the low spot of the slab, perhaps right by the soil here. So we're here in our shipping dock area, trying not to get run over by an 18 wheeler here, but um, we're gonna take this sheeting and essentially what we're doing is we're introducing resistance to the surface, to you know a non-breathable membrane here, introducing resistance to the surface to see if we have any condensation form underneath. Uh, the ASTM calls for 16 hours of this being down. I'm fighting the wind here, but you see what I'm doing. You wanna take this and really tape this down nice and tight to the concrete. Again, right by the soil is a great idea or a low spot or perhaps a uh, clogged drain. You know, you never know if those drains are clogged if they are clogged, the moisture is not evacuating. You know, the runoff from the rain is not evacuating the pool deck as it should. And that moisture, that rain, is circumventing the sidewalls of the drain and it's going under your concrete. And when the sun comes out, that moisture does what? It evaporates, right? So it's got to go somewhere. And a lot of times it's coming straight up through the slab. And if that PSI is strong enough, it can provoke coatings into bubbling, which is just such a, such a pain in the butt because you spent all that time and money making your pool deck look great. And usually uh, everything works out great, you know, but it's just a shame when you get to the end of the job, everything just looks so beautiful and you got a, you got a blister that you got to come back and, um, you know, address. So we're going to take this down really nice, really tight. I hope you guys do a better job of this than I do, fighting the wind. But I want you to, uh, you know, see this, the general idea. Not the best tape job, I must say. Yeah. So now that we're, you know, we got this tape down nice and tight. And, you know, you want to make sure you, you, you tape it down. You know, I got some spaces here. But you get the idea. The real ASTM, again, we'll leave this for 16 hours, 24 hours, 36 hours. It's a great idea. Uh, you can also use a rubber mat, okay? All you need is a non-breathable membrane, again, to introduce uh, resistance to the surface. If you have bare concrete and you've never had a paint on it, you just simply don't know if you have a moisture issue like this because there's never been resistance to the surface. So um, what you can do if you have moisture, call us, okay? We have a product, uh, made by Acuron Corporation. It's a densifying primer that blocks moisture. Okay, it's gonna add, um, I believe it's gonna add about 33 cents per square foot to your job, but it's great stuff. It's a permanent solution. It'll block, um, I believe like six or seven PSI of hydrostatic pressure. And uh, what essentially what that means is our coating won't be provoked by moisture. You won't get the bubbles. It skyrockets the adhesion of our product so on and so forth. So um, if you have poor draining soil, if you're in Florida and, and you're on the water table, if you have a clogged drain or a leak in the pool, right? Any kind of moisture source underneath the concrete is trying to escape and it's gotta go somewhere. So 
uh, do this simple test. It'll cost you $4, you know what I mean? Leave this down and what you're gonna do um, after 16 hours at least, you're gonna come back and of course, peel this up. And if you have condensation under here, you have moisture, okay? You have a moisture issue. So at that point, it's just a no brainer for me to add that extra step of MVB. If you employ MVB, you can forego our triple crown cleaner. So don't use the cleaner, just pressure wash, get it clean. You can apply MVB when the concrete is still damp and you only want to do one coat of MVB. Again, stands for moisture vapor blocker. It's a great product. We have it available. Um, it only comes in five gallon buckets, but um, just call us and we'll, uh, we'll help you out. So no brainer test here. Do it before you buy any coatings. Thanks again for watching. 888-776-2242, oncorecoatings.com. Thank you.